ma'am. I'm Rochelle Devera from BSN 2A Group 2 and today I'm going to um, perform the um, catheterizing the male and female urinary bladder or indwelling for the perennial care. So um, the main goal of this is to safely introduce the um, catheter to the urinary bladder to promote a urine drainage. So now let's proceed for the procedure and for that we need first to assemble all the equipments that we need. So we have here the sterile um, catheterization kit and we have also the other um, um, materials for the um, perennial flushing set. And then now uh, we need to perform hand hygiene. And then, um, next thing you need to do is to um, explain to the client what you are going to do, the procedure, and uh, also the purposes of what you are going to do. And also, we need to discuss with our patient if they have a allergy, especially with the iodine or a latex, or I mean iodine or latex. So, hi sir, or hi ma'am, I'm Rochelle Devera, may I know your full name? Okay, um, do you have any allergy? I'm your nurse for today, I mean, and then, um, do you have any allergy, like, especially in iodine or latex? Then after that, after, and then you need to explain everything to your patient. Then after explaining everything, now you need to provide any light. Um, you can also use a artificial, artificial light, uh, but you can also use this um, fairy light. Have the light, and also you can also use um, flashlight. But but um, by using that, you need an assistant or um, someone who can hold the flashlight for you. So as I'm in my room, I have my daylight, and also I turn on my uh, light in the room, and also I let's use this. Um, but the difference is this is light for the brain a lot. So let's use this, and then um, you need to provide the privacy of your patient or client. And by doing that, um, if you're in the room, make sure that you close the door and also the um, window. And if there's a curtain, you, know, you need to close the curtain. And then you need to position your client or patient. By um, If your patient is a female, you need to assist your patient or female patient in a dorsal recumbent position and um, with um, with the knees um, slightly flexed and then um, the uh, feet are about to two feet apart and then if your patient or client is male you need to assist your male patient in a supine position with the legs slightly abducted and then you need to clean the genital or perineal area with a water or warm water and soap so but before that you need to put a clean gloves And put this one. Get the Kelly's or forceps. And then from front to back. So just one swipe and then scarred. One swipe. And then one. And then discard. And then put this free. And then you need to rinse it and dry. So here, this one. And dry. Dry. And with this one. Also, um, um, you need to perform hand washing later on. So you need to discard this. The removal gloss, yeah, and I like I said, you to perform hand washing, but I prefer here to use alcohol. You can use also a sanitizer. And then um, now we need to open the sterile organization kit and here on the bed. So get this one and then put this in here. Oh my god. Oh my god. And then now we need to open the um, sterile catheterization kit with a sterile um, in his um, sterile technique. So now we need to put our um, sterile gloves. So let's say for instance, I open, I, this is a sterile gloves. So. And then um, now um, we need to place the 
what you call this one the mm, fenestrated stereo drape to the perineal area so let's have this one here and then um now we need to place the sterile tray in drape between the patient's legs so here and then now we need to open all the supplies and then by that if the catheter is to be um indwelling you need to test the catheter balloon so by doing that you need to remove the cap on the um tip of the syringe and attach the syringe for filled with the sterile water and injection to the port to um, inject for appropriate amount of fluid. So let's say for instance we try to inflate the balloon and then um, if the balloon inflated you need to, um, I mean if the balloon is inflated properly you, uh, you need to withdraw the fluid and leave the syringe attached to the port. If you need to pour a antiseptic solution over the cup and balls. So let's have this one. So let's say this is that antiseptic solution. We have this um, cotton balls. And then you need to open the specimen container if the specimen is to be drained and then you need to lubricate one to two inches of the catheter dip so we have here let's say for instance this is the lubricant so um we are going to put a one to the inches of the catheter there you go and then for the female as our patient now is female you need to um with the Thumb, uh, uh, thumb and one finger of your um, dominant hand, you need to spread the labia uh, and identify the meatus. So, here you are. And then you need to prepare, prepare um, to maintain separation of the labia with one hand until the urine is flowing well and continuously. Then, you, using a cotton balls, you need to help with forceps here. Then, you need to, um, how do you call this one? Um, you need to clean the both labial folds and uh, directly. So, and then, you need to move the cotton balls above the meatus down toward the rectum and then discard. Then one, discard, two, discard, three, discard. So there you go. And then you need to insert the catheter. You need to insert the catheter. You need to insert the catheter into the meatus for about um, 7 to 7.5 or um, two to three um, inches or until the urine flows then um, you need um, do not insert the catheter for a uh, force key so you don't need to force it um, inside the meatus um, you need to this one like this and then um, ask the patient to breathe deeply if the um, Deeply to and then rotate the catheter. So, sir, I mom, can you please breathe deeply? And for um indwelling catheter, um you need to advance for a, uh, the catheter for about um uh two point five to five point zero or one to two inches. And now for the male, um, same procedure, you need to hand the brush. And then, um, first thing you need to do is open the sterile catheterization. And then, um, you need to leave the penis with your dominant 
I then no first you need to put the stereo gloves. So let's say for instance this is the stereo gloves. Now after um putting your gloves, now you need to um lift the pa uh, lift the pennies with your um dominant hand or which is then considered contaminated and you need to retract the first hand in the uncircumcised um, male patient and you need to clean the area at the neatus with a um, cotton balls held with a forceps or kelis and then use a circular um, motion or circular motion moving from the meatus toward the base of the penis for three times. So, Then now uh, you need to hold the penis with slightly upward uh, tension and perpendicular to the patient's body. Gently insert the tip of the syringe with a lubricant into the urethra and um, instill 10 ml of lubricant into the urethra. So here you go. Um, but before that, you need to put a lubricant. Wait. And then insert the tip of the meat uh, into the meatus and then advance intermittent catheter for about uh, 15 to 20 centimeter or um, 6 to 8 inches or um, until the urine flows. And then do not use force into introduce the, introducing the catheter to the urinary bladder. If the catheter um, resists to enter, you need to ask the patient to um, breathe deeply and you need to retain the catheter. So, sir, can you please breathe deeply? Breathe deeply. So, there you go. And then um, for um, both uh, male and female, um, if the catheter is to be um, indwelling, you need to inflate the balloon according to manufacturer's and recommendation for about 5 ml and then touch gently on catheter after balloon is in, uh, inflated to feel the resistance and then you need to secure the upper um, thigh with a velcro strap or tape and then leave some slot into the catheter if um, to allow for leg movement. So, and then um, you need to check the drainage tubing is not um, linked and that movement of side rails does not interfere with the catheter or drainage bag. You need to hand the catheter back. You need to hang the um, catheter below the bed. Let's say, for instance, I uh, already put the um, catheterization bag um, below the bed, and then now we need to remove all the um, equipment, and then um, you need to clean the perineal area as. Then um, you need to record all the findings that you get and all the per all the things that you do. But before that, you need to um, make your make your patient comfortable. So here you go. So, sir, are you comfortable? Then, like what I've said, you need to record all the um, things that you did and also the reaction of your um, reaction of your patient and also the time of the um, the time of the catheterization and also the amount of the urine so that's it